Wow, haven't used that one for a while. One of the most common questions I get is on the direction I draw current flowing. In my animations, I typically show current flowing from positive to negative. However, you might have learned in school or read on the internet that current flows from negative to positive, which is actually true. So then are all my drawings wrong? Well, no, because we can analyze circuits with either conventional flow or electron flow, which is what we'll talk about in this episode of Add Ohms. Now, you've probably heard of Benjamin Franklin. You might have also heard that he discovered electricity. Well, that isn't true. Franklin was the first to prove that lightning is composed of electricity with his now famous weather experiment. Franklin was also the first to label electricity's pressures as positive and negative. He assumed that electrons flowed from the positive, where there were more of them, towards the negative, where there were less of them. What scientists later discovered, and what we know today, is that electrons flow from the negative towards the positive. Conductors, like wires or traces on a printed circuit board, are made up of metal. The atoms of the metal have positively charged nuclei and negatively charged electrons. Because current is a loop, it doesn't matter which one we call positive or negative. And that also means when analyzing a circuit, it doesn't matter which direction you use as long as you analyze the entire circuit using the same direction. Now, I do want to address one myth, which is around the definition of current flow. Many people define electric current as the electrons flowing. In fact, I might have even said that in an early Adams video. Anyway, it is true the electrons are moving and they need a closed path in order to flow. However, it is the charge moving with the electrons, the charge carriers, that allow a circuit to use electrical energy. In short, whether a circuit shows electrons or charge moving in one direction or the other, current is a closed loop. As long as you analyze an entire circuit with the same direction, it doesn't matter which one you use. On add ohms, we're going to keep drawing with conventional current flow. So whether you see an animation like this or an animation like this, they are both correct. To learn more about current and current flow myths, check out a write-up I did on my blog. Visit baldengineer.com slash current flow. You can also visit adohms.com slash ep19 for notes and links related to current flow. And as always, you can find us around the internets using the keyword ad ohms. This show is brought to you by patrons like yourself. To help support the show, visit patreon.com slash ohms. 